Hi guys, how y'all doing today? This is D. Darrell Spears with D. Darrell Life Solutions. Happy that you all were able to come in and check out the video. I appreciate you all for being here once again. I definitely would like you to share the video and also leave comments in the comment section to engage. Now this particular topic holds very dear to me because it's usually when I create videos that talk about the relationship between black men or black boys with, with their mothers, it, it appears to, you know, get some headway. It, it, more than any other video, I get more comments about that than any other family dynamic, whether it's black women and their daughters, whether it's, you know, fathers and, and sons, fathers and daughters, or whatever family dynamic. When I talk about black men or males and their mothers, even to this day, it gets more replay than any other video. It, it There's more comments that are given. And I'm not talking about short, simple comments. I'm talking about paragraphs of, of, of and comments expressing the, the, the trauma that they experience either by verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, um, financial abuse, just different things in which they, in which black men or, or black boys growing up never felt loved by their mother, never felt validated by their mother, never felt the nurturing, never felt uh, the emotional connection, never felt that that person was a model to them. Now, I don't want people to, to get that I am trying to bash black motherhood because that is not my intention. However, what I will talk about is that in our community, there is a percentage of women who are not engaging in motherhood in the manner that they should be. To, or I would say they're not managing healthy environments that foster um, kids to thrive. Okay? So... I'm going to continue to do these videos about um, black men and their mothers because it's requested. It's, it's something that draws more attraction to the channel. But I want the guys who are listening to me, the guys who are listening and, and who watch me, to understand that there is hope to improve that relationship. If the other party is open, or if you are, are open to improve that relationship, it doesn't have to remain stagnant. You don't have to be mad at a person for 20, 15, 15 years. You don't have to engage in certain conversations. You choose to do that. So the question is, what can you do about it? Okay, you can you can do a lot of things. You can you can you can confront that person about the th these issues in a positive manner. You can encourage that person to do activities with you. Have this dialogue. You can go to, to therapy. Okay? There's tons of things you can do. You can work on yourself and improve your side of the toxicity of the relationship. But two people have to engage for, it, for there to be true change as it relates to this issue. And to make known of what this person can do to change and give them uh, tips and advice. Be a resource to an overwhelmed... There are tons of overwhelmed mothers who work two or three jobs, work in retail, working 50, 60, 70 hours a week, and can barely pay the bills. So when you're in that environment, you're not going to... And yes, in many situations, this is not your fault because it's partially the fault of a man that's not being there or not taking care of his children, which put more strain on you, which I clearly understand. But also the fact that we cannot have kids and adults growing up resentful of their mother due to the hell they, they stated that their mothers put, put them through and their failure to listen and their failure to correct things that need to be corrected. That's basically the gist of what I was saying. Okay? Now, I appreciate you all for being here. I appreciate you all for looking at the video. This is Coach D. Darrell Spears. Have a great day.